Lab Guy here. This is just a quick video today that's uh, a little segue away from the 6104 camera restoration and other projects. Um, I was contacted by a fellow recently looking for some old style um, black and white video switchers that I have and he was interested in obtaining one, one or both of them and uh, this caused me to go to the storage unit dig around or rat around as I like to say and I was able to locate both of them surprisingly it's kind of like doing archaeology you know something's buried down there but you have to remove a mile of overburden to get to it at any rate I was able to find them and uh, one is grimy and working and working-ish and the other one is still untested but is in gorgeous condition because it was in uh, in a plastic bag so first off let me introduce you to the concept um, this is a little video switcher that takes the input from four video cameras and allows you to dissolve from camera one to camera two or camera one to camera four usually you had three studio cameras on the studio floor black and white and one camera that would be set up on a uh, aimed at an easel with uh, graphics cards back in the day before uh, electronic uh, graphics and this was typical even in broadcast stations as uh, far back as the mid 60s before uh, true graphic uh, uh, generating equipment was available you actually had a department where people were sitting there with stencils and tape making up graphical cards weather maps for the weatherman and so on so anyways these switchers give you the ability to uh, select camera sources and um, and some limited effects uh, the one I showed you the SEG 1A and its predecessor the SEG 1 which means special effects generator uh, were the two earliest units from Sony they probably predate 1970 um, I'm not sure I'm not sure on that the uh, SEG 1A appears to be uh, dated about 1975 it says it right on the front cover so uh, fortunately I happen to have the SEG 1A right at hand and you can see this sucker is in gorgeous condition or grogeous as I like to say I love butchering language I love wordplay anyways there's the front panel you have the sliders for fading and a pair of sliders for wipes it can do a vertical wipe it can do a horizontal wipe or it can do a combination and sometimes in old black and white videos you will see that they will take the upper corner of the screen and they will insert the graphics channel there they will actually have the uh, graphics on the easel or perhaps a camera pointing down at the desk where the teacher is actually uh, illustrating his point and the rest of the frame shows the teacher himself so at any rate that's what those controls do and you can see the wipe controls here and over on this side are the fade controls we have two sets of four buttons for selecting uh, which bus A and B bus and uh, I'm not sure what C bus is but that may be a monitoring bus where uh, for a studio so cheap it only has one monitor to monitor previews and so on so anyways I'm not I haven't studied the manual on operating this thing and I haven't tested it yet but that's one of them we'll look at the SEG one in a moment but before we do that I have to explain something about this particular SEG one the interface to the cameras of the day was through a six pin DIN connector and cable this cable would send horizontal and vertical sync to the 
cameras on the studio floor so that they were all in sync with each other. If you hear the lawnmower, my roommate has decided to mow right now. Of course, I'm making a video. Anyways, the DIN jack puts out um, horizontal and vertical sync for the cameras so that all the cameras are in sync. And, um, and then uh, I believe it has a video return cable with, within the uh, same cable. If not, then there was a separate cable to carry video back from the camera to the switching unit. So these switchers can uh, look like a Medusa when everything in the studio is hooked up. Um, so at any rate, um, that's, how, that's how they're connected. And um, in the case of the SEG-1 that I have, which was the earlier version of this product, Somebody has modified this one. Let me disconnect it and show you. So this is the SEG-1. And uh, as you can see, it looks very similar to the SEG-1A. The difference being that these switches up here are mechanical, where in the 1A they are electronic. Um, when I show you this operating you'll see why they went to electronic switches these switches are so filthy um, that when you press them to do the switch I call it a crunch edit there is so much static in the picture it's ridiculous so now looking at the back you can see that the DIN connectors have been removed and replaced with EIAJ 10 pin connectors. These are made by Hiroshi, not High Rose, Hiroshi, uh, a connector company in Japan. And uh, over on this side, you'll see these two banana jacks. Notice that they're not straight. This is a modification. They're also not labeled. What this person has done to this switcher is they have modified this one to run with porta pack cameras. Sorry, this one's in pretty, pretty ratty condition, and uh, I was testing it last evening and actually died mid-test. Um, here's another one. These are both Sony cameras. This is the 3400, also in ratty condition. I just pulled them from storage and haven't taken the time to clean them. Um, that's a 3400. This is the 3450. They both have the 10 pin Hiroshi plug and the modification to this switcher was to adapt it to use porta pack cameras. Very clever. Very clever. Now that renders this unit incapable of working directly with the old studio style cameras uh, because they use the 6 pin DIN cables. Is this a showstopper? Not to anyone who has a soldering iron and the plugs. You could take the six pin cable, cut the plug off for this end, and install a, uh, a ten pin connector and make an adapting cable. And that would probably work, uh, though it is a great deal of work and it's unknown what else may be modified in here. Um, I hear a screw or something rolling around in there as well. So, at any rate, this, this switcher was modified and I've been testing it. And it works with the one working camera. We'll look at that in a minute. So, um, that's the story of the uh, Sony SEG-1 and SEG-1A cameras. And... Uh, Let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing operating. Okay. <laughs> I've got everything set up now and turned on. Here's the little switcher and it's operating. Now the key thing was that one of the mods was that you have to put 12 volts from a power supply in to operate the cameras. 
Uh, each camera apparently draws about uh, almost six tenths of an amp of current at 12 volts. So this is the switcher operating in uh, fader mode. And hi, that's me on the monitor. And uh, that's the back of my head. There you go. Uh, let's see if I can make that picture look a little better on the uh, other camera. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, this thing is doing a lot of funny stuff. It wants to, uh, to uh, have all kinds of uh, dirty contact problems. See, that's the, the dirty contact problem. We <laughs> wow. We can do fades. Fade in. And fade out. I don't have a second camera, so we'll just have to go with uh, what you see here. Let's go to the wipes. All right. We can do a horizontal wipe. Horizontal wipe. We can do a vertical wipe. And we can wipe from camera one to camera two, or we can go from camera two to camera one. That's amazing! That's interesting. Okay, now we can do the the quad split where we can insert our graphic in the uh, corners and we can change corners and you notice there's your dirty contacts for you. So, um, that's how these uh, switchers worked. I can switch the channels and uh, while we're in there, we can uh, also fade, fade in and out. Let's, uh, let's switch back. And um, I can, uh, I should be able to fade. No, I don't know. I don't know how to run this stupid thing. Um, yeah, why we're getting a full, full image all the time, I don't know. It shouldn't be. Oh, I know. I'm still, in, I'm still in wipe. So there we go. That is the that is the SEG1 switcher in operation. And as I as I stroke these uh, controls up and down, um, you can see that the uh, the noise is getting better. I mean, they're not perfect. They, this this unit will have to be opened up, cleaned, solder connections touched up, uh, things aligned, and so on. But it is operating. So, uh, at any rate, that is the Sony SEG-1 in operation. So, until next time, Lab Guy out. <laughs>